speaking with Amina Bichakchic. Amina, how are you doing? Doing great. You? I'm doing okay. Okay. You are a doctor now, that is correct? Yes. We're going to speak a little bit about your life as a young girl in Bosnia to start off with. Can you tell me what life was like growing up? Well, it was an uh, ordinary childhood in war, or uh, war childhood. Uh, it was interesting, you know, uh, for other kids what was normal for us, it was uh, unnormal, or, uh, you know, it was normal for us not to go outside to play, it was uh, normal for us to live in basements or uh, to be afraid of uh, grenades or snipers, so that was normal for us. That was normal childhood in Sarajevo. How old were you when the war started? I was four. And do you have memories from before the war started? Oh, uh, some, but just like flashbacks, uh, not like real memories of uh, childhood before the war. Uh, I only have memories from, uh, from the war. My earliest memories are from the war. What happened when the Dayton Peace Accord was being signed, what were you doing? Well, my family was watching it on TV, uh, the signing of the Dayton Agreement in, in Paris, and uh, I wrote a poem on my grandfather's typewriter. I wrote a poem about uh, President Clinton and uh, his influence in uh, the peace in, in, in Bosnia and uh, my family was shushing me because those old typewriters make a lot of noise and uh, when I was finished I showed uh, the poem to my mother and she was like okay so this isn't bad so then she translated the poem to English and sent it to the American Embassy in Sarajevo and then what happened? and then I got a call from the American Embassy uh, they wanted me to meet the ambassador uh, John Menzies. So I came to the American Embassy and I had a conversation with the gentleman, the ambassador, and um, a few days after they said they would like for me and my mother to come to Tuzla to meet and greet Hillary and Chelsea Clinton. Can you describe what it was like when you arrived in Tuzla? Well, it was very interesting for a child like me, you know, you see all these uh, soldiers, American soldiers and generals and uh, all these uh, journalists and there was cameras and flashes all around and airplanes and then when Hillary and Chelsea came, I got to read my poem to them uh, and uh, I got a kiss from Hillary and Chelsea and that was about it. What did Hillary Clinton say to you? Uh, I think she said that she really liked my poem and uh, that she was glad to meet me or something like that. Did you meet any of the generals? Yeah, I met General Lathan Smith. He was um, the head of the American troops in, in Bosnia and Herzegovina and I was really... <clears throat> I was really, really excited to, to meet him because he was like an you know, all-American general with um, his uniform and his hat and his epaulets and I was talking to my mother and I was like, you know who that is? And she was like, of course I know. And then he came to me and um, he said to me, hey little girl, do you know who I am? And I was like, of course, you're General Lathan Smith. And he was like, oh my god, even kids in Bosnia know who I am. And I was like, yeah, of course, every kid in Bosnia knows who you are. So that was interesting to, to see him in person. And uh, it, it was a very interesting experience. And you were speaking fluent English back then as an eight-year-old. With the help of my mom, yes, but I was uh, speaking English. Can you des describe... Uh, what the, the the security atmosphere was like then when you greeted Hillary on the tarmac? Well, you know, there was these soldiers and then and, and there was the security all around, but even then in, in Bosnia we were still a 
you know, an unsecure territory and there was still uh, the smell of war everywhere. But, you know, for me that was normal. Just, just to set the record straight, even though this has already been done, there was no sniper fire, correct? As I recall, no. In 2008, when Hillary Clinton was on the campaign trail, she gave a few speeches, and she did at one point say that there was sniper fire that day. Yes. What was your reaction to her saying that? At the moment you get a little bit uh, like, wait, what? I don't recall that. But then again you realize it's all about politics and stuff like that and maybe she saw something differently than I did. Uh, but then you start to recall and then start to question your own memories and, and stuff like that. But you know, it was really, really very brave of her to even come. To, to, to Bosnia and to bring her daughter with, with her, that was great. Do you think she did misspeak, as she said, or do you think it was an exaggeration, she lied, or Oh, well, I don't know, that's, that's really up to her. I, I can't say what she thought. Maybe she misspoke, maybe she didn't remember it right, I really don't know. At the time, were you supporting Hillary Clinton to be the next president? I was 50-50. I said uh, for America it would be a step forward. They will, or they will have the first African-American president or they will have the first female president. So I was really neutral back then. So you were fond of Barack Obama? I was fond of Barack Obama as I was uh, fond of Hillary Clinton the same. When a uh, reporter from the New York Post came knocking on your door. What was your reaction? Uh, well, I was surprised. I was like, wait, what, what's happening? And uh, why did they even want to talk to me? Or how did they find me? Uh, so I was really surprised. I was a little bit uh, like, what's going on? And did you do any other media interviews after the New York Post one. I did one with uh, BBC uh, over the radio. On the radio. And what was the reaction here to your media appearances? <laughs> well, I didn't really talk that much about it. My closest friends and family they knew, and they made a little bit of. Um, you know, there, there was a little bit of goofing around and there was a little bit of uh, joking about it. But, you know, I, I really felt supported by my friends and, and family about it. Was there some joke or line? People were calling you something like the tarmac girl? Well, here, no. But in America, I know I'm known as the tarmac girl or the Tuzla tarmac girl. Did you think you had any influence on Obama winning over Hillary? I really thought that I didn't have any influence, but, um, well, I've been shown otherwise. And I'm sorry. I really didn't want to influence anything. Okay, fast forward to this year. Okay. I don't know if you've heard, but there's going to be a presidential election <laughs> coming up on Tuesday. Yeah. Please tell me your thoughts on the 2016 election. 2016 election. Well, go Hillary. That's really uh, most I can say. Uh, I always like the de Democratic uh, candidates, so I'm really rooting for her this time. So it will be a very interesting thing to see if she wins. How will it be to have a um, female as a head of the state and a woman as a president of the greatest power in the world? So I'm in the Hillary corner, as they say. Have you had any contact with Hillary Clinton since the moment on the tarmac? No. Uh, after that, I did receive um, 
uh, official pictures from the White House uh, with the signature and uh, like a note from Hillary. It was very sweet. And um, I got a letter from, official letter from the White House from uh, President Clinton back then. And that was it. Did you feel at all upset or betrayed by her comments about the sniper fire? Well, no, as I already told you, it was very brave of her to come, to even come, and we were honored that she came and, uh, you know, when nobody else wanted to come to Bosnia and to see how it was, you just get a little bit uh, surprised, that's all. But nevertheless, she came and, and brought her daughter and uh, that was it. How are things in Bosnia now? Yeah. Um, I really, I want to say they're okay, but not really. You know, we're still somehow um, a country in a transition and we're still trying to find ourselves in this crazy world. So we're still like in, in a limbo. If Hillary Clinton indeed wins the election, what would you like for her to do for Bosnia? Well, to, to um, help us in, in, in this transition forward to, to European Union and um, to help the whole Balkans to be more stable region in the world, to help our economy, our commerce, our, well, you know, just push us in the right direction towards the future in which uh, you know, young people in, in Bosnia can find jobs in our country and not have to go to, to Germany or somewhere else in Europe. That's, I think, in this moment, the most important thing in, in, in Bosnia. Do you think Hillary Clinton will indeed be able to get Bosnia into the European Union? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. If she wins, I hope she does. Anything else you'd like to say? That's it. It was a pleasure speaking with you. You too. Havala. <laughs> Name and <a> time. <laughs> Ciao. Bye.